This is something totally astonishing. The Red Sea flushes faster from far-flung volcanoes. This is a recent revelation by King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Deep water in the Red Sea gets replenished much faster than previously thought, and its circulation is directly affected by major climate events, including volcanic eruptions. Who would have thought? This is what the KAUST researchers have found. And the next article after this will be the uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, The Mysteries of the Red Sea, uh, having to do with past and ancient uh, events and uh, recent findings. Uh, everything from locusts to um, temperature changes and uh, plagues of locusts, we said, mountain gaps and jets and blasts of dry air, connecting, connections to the oceans, but that's another uh, video. Uh, now, as for this, water is occupying depths from 900 to 6,000 feet in the Red Sea are recognized as the warmest and the saltiest deep water in the world, with near homogeneous temperatures above 20 degrees Celsius and salinity, which is pretty nice and warm, if you uh, were to take a uh, you know take a dip in it, and uh, salinity is higher than 40.5, practically salinity units (PSU). The world average for similar depths is 2.5 degrees Celsius and 35 PSU uh, because of the depth of the water. What does that mean? Now, until now, researchers suggested that the Red Sea's deep water is relatively stagnant, taking some 36 to 90 years to renew, and that its main source of renewal is water flowing from the northern gulfs of Suez and Aqaba into the sea's main basin. Kaust Associate Professor Ibrahim Hotate, who specializes in earth fluid modeling with Fan Chao Yao, the physical oceanographer, used an ocean circulation simulator to gain further insight into the circulation of the Red Sea's deep water. They compared the temperature and the salinity data gathered by six cruises from along the central axis of the Red Sea, and they found evidence revealing deep circulation changes during the period between 1982 and 2011. They then used atmospheric data to reconstruct the Red Sea's three-dimensional circulation over a 20-year period. Yao said, we found that the deep water of the Red Sea experienced rather rapid renewals in the period 18, 1982 to 2001, which is against the conventional idea that is almost mostly stagnant. They found rapid renewals. In 1982, El Chinon volcanic eruption in Mexico, 1991, Mount Pinatumbo eruption in the Philippines were implicated. Uh, those, uh, the model simulation also convincingly linked these deep water renewals to the global climate variability associated with remote volcanic eruptions and the North Atlantic oscillation. And you'll see the video before this one having to do with the ring of fire volcanic eruptions and how they change the um, uh, North, North Atlantic current currents, water currents and air currents and that could be lasting for decades. So this is also something akin to what they found having to do with the change in North Atlantic weather because of the Pacific Ocean Ring of Fire volcanic eruptions. They said generally volcanic eruptions warm the middle atmosphere of the tropics by releasing large amounts of sulfate aerosols, which absorbs the sun's rays for periods of up to two years. The westerly jet across the Atlantic Ocean become stronger as the atmospheric circulation adjusts to this warming. Thus, in turn, increases dry, cold, northwesterly winds above the Red Sea. So it's not just the North Atlantic, it goes all the way across Europe, as we see all across Arabia. So uh, the dry, cold, northwesterly winds above the Red Sea, heat is lost from the sea's waters to the air, and the surface temperature becomes cold enough to trigger warmer waters to rise and colder waters to sink. This is known as open ocean deep convection. In contrast with previous studies, 
Hotate and Yao found it was this o the open ocean deep convection that formed the primary source of the replenishment of the Red Sea's deep water, while the flows of water originating in the gulfs of Suez and Aqaba represented secondary sources. Organic matter from surface waters falls downwards, where it decomposes into its basic mineral components, and this makes deep water rich in nutrients, so its circulation affects the health of the Red Sea ecosystem as a whole. Also, because of the floor of the Red Sea, it's abundant in mineral deposits and metals, understanding deep circulations is vital for environmental sustained deep sea exploration and mining. This is from uh, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, and it's on FIS.org. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.